Good morning, everybody. It is another day. It is going to be a hectic day. It's gonna be a hectic week. And so what I look like now, I look horrible right now. And I can only imagine what I'm gonna look like at the end of the week. This week we are prepping for Madeline's birthday party. So she turned one on Friday. You're getting too big too quick. Ah, she needs to stop. But anyway, um, her birthday party is on October 1st and so we're having it. I'm hoping it's gonna be outside. Ah, I don't know. I'm worried about the weather. I haven't actually checked the weather yet because I'm kind of stressed out about looking at it. So maybe after this is done recording, I'll go look. But I would like to have it outside because of the number of people that we're having. I mean, our house can accommodate people inside. It's just a lot harder. But um, yeah, so I'm hoping it'll be outside. It'll be nice. And hopefully, well, it's fall here. And like yesterday, it was 90 degrees. So... If it's all of a sudden going to turn into like 30 degree weather out of nowhere, I'm going to be really upset, but I also don't want it to be 90 degrees. If we could have like a 72, anywhere from like 68 to 72 would be fabulous, <laughs> but we'll see. So bless you. So this week I have a lot of prep work for her party. I am making the food myself. Um, we're not like catering or anything and I am doing a pasta bar. So I am having several different types of pasta, um, toppings and different um, uh, sauces and I'm making all the sauces myself, I'm cooking up all the toppings myself, everything like that. I have about a billion and one um, crock pots, she's just kind of running around now, wants her blankie. Yeah, you want your blankie? <laughs> So anyway, I have so many crock pots that I'm not too worried about keeping everything warm and everything nice. I have um, some soup that I already made that's frozen that hopefully will thaw out well. I don't know that it will, but I'm hoping it thaws out well. Um, and yeah, I just have a lot to do. I might try to make some pasta sauce today. Um, I am making regular pasta sauce, just like a marinara sauce. I'm making an Alfredo sauce and a vodka sauce, so those are all being handmade from scratch. I still don't know what my daughter's doing. What you doing? It's a good stare. So, anyway, there's a lot of that. All this stuff here I need to get cleaned up. This is like all the stuff that was like within reach when we had all of our furniture still stored down here and everything and she would play down here. This is like everything that she could reach that we like didn't want her to have. And so it's just up there. And even though everything else has been removed from the room, we still have all of this stuff just sitting up there. So I have a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of prep work to do, and hopefully we make it through, but we'll see. We are headed into the super crappy mall of the, uh, what we're like number three on the top 10 endangered mall this is, list. This, that was about 10 years ago and it's and, still around. Yeah, it's still bad. Did we but, look at the State College Mall to see if it was still around? I don't know. No. But um, <laughs> Madeline would not take her nap, so she fell asleep on the way here. And we're just going in to get poop bags for her diaper pail. That's pretty much all we need. And maybe a pretzel. And, and a pretzel. Go anywhere. We're walking around in here and like, everything is closed except for the gym and Burlington Coat Factory and like Bonton just closed a couple of the uh, bon, yeah Bonton did too this used to be a subway that's closed there's like four stores here and like three restaurants and like so, it's, so well, it's so bad it's so bad okay Danny wants me to show So, as you can see, there's nobody here. Oh, there's a person behind us now. Some, some guy walking, but that's about it. I am working on making some tomato sauce for Madeline's party. So like I said, I'm making everything. And sorry for the noise in the background, Madeline's out there watching TV. Um, so anyway, I think the pasta sauce is almost done. However, I am going to be resurfacing my countertops here in a minute. So um, I've already done this over here. So this is 
kind of what it's going to look like and then I did a little section over here to test it out and so here I am I'm going to be doing the rest of it I don't know if I have enough product for it so we'll see I'm hoping we do but uh, time will tell I guess so I am here working on this section I've just got a little bit of it put in it is not the easiest thing to do but um, it looks okay in the end so Anyway, it's there, I'm working on it. I've still got all the rest of this to do, but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So I have this little section done over here now and this section done over here I need to do from here to here and then like in the sink and the backsplash. I decided to go from here to here first because I figured it would be a little bit easier for me to cut this diagonal, which as you can tell is not perfect, but it will look okay once it's done. Um, just because this was gonna be, well these two pieces here were a little bit longer, but um, I wanted to do this side first because I wanted to make sure I had a straight line for up against the edge there. And then, I don't really know what I'm thinking, really, honestly, but, um, so I need to do this side from here to here and then cut that as well and go from there and then this section will be next and then I'll be doing the backsplash and that is it. For those of you that are wondering how I'm doing this, this is actually is like a contact paper. Um, so you can see like there's all these waves in it because it was all rolled up but it lays out flat. Um, I haven't like gotten the bubbles out yet so you can see there's some spots here. I don't even know if you'll be able to really see it on camera. There we go, you can see some spots there. There's bubbles underneath. It does not lay perfectly flat. I guess unless you're a miracle worker. So I do have to like squeegee the bubbles out. This didn't do as bad with the bubbles. There's definitely, I can feel a lot of them still. I don't know how many of them you can see. You can probably see a couple like up here. Um, so you do have to like squeegee those out. So I will be working on doing that afterwards. But it is a contact paper, so it's very, very super sticky. You basically measure it and lay it out and just lay it down. And if you mess up, it does, like, you can get it off. Um, can't really do it with one hand. It's very sticky, but it does come off. Like, the amount of times I had to pull this section off was insane. So, anyway, it's kind of difficult, but at the same time, it's like, it could be worse. So, oh, I'm just going to try to finish it, and hopefully it looks nice. I'm now working on getting the backsplash-ish part of this on. Um... This I'm measuring is about four inches. Um, it's really only about three and a half, but I don't know if you can really tell right here where it like, comes down and it overlaps. Um, I'm not really like trying to get it in a perfect line, but if you have the time to do that or you're more talented than I am, then good for you, go ahead and do that. But for me, this is like the best that I'm gonna get it. So I, ha I always have stuff like along here, so I'm not really concerned about the edges like over here. I have, you know, the edges weren't like super pretty, but um, yeah, I just, I always have like decorations and stuff lining that, so I'm not really too concerned about the seams. Are you eating your bananas? Guys, look at this mess. Ugh. Okay, so it is done. There you go. There's what it looks like. So, all done. Danny says he likes it, right? So, it's definitely not perfect, but I think it looks better, you know, in general. Definitely from a distance it looks better. And now the dresser that we have in here will look like it actually belongs. And you're eating your bananas. Mommy has a quesadilla for you in a second. It's just gotta cool down. Yeah. Madeline is sleeping, which is a good surprise. Well, kind of. It's 11 o'clock at night right now. Um, so I don't know how long she's going to stay asleep. I am super hungry, so I've got this box of donut holes behind me because I'm pregnant and that's just what I'm gonna eat for a snack, I guess. I already had dinner, but Anyway, so there is that. I have a really bad headache, so I am going to go ahead and go to bed and end this vlog. So give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!
Thank you.